I know it is something of, of, of great concern to, to everyone. And um, we continue to monitor it on a, on a regular basis, daily and weekly, also in, in Cabinet. Um, we believe, though, that we need to be able to, to open the borders more sooner than later. We have closed our borders since the end of March of 2020. We are almost coming to March of 2022 for, for two years. And, um, and it is creating some, some problems. Um, for for people to travel, for, for do business, for trade. And um, so we, we need to find a way how we can open the, the borders safely. And that is what we're working in, that when we open it, that we're going to open it safely. In December, we said that we were going to open both the borders and school at the same time. But once we saw the Omicron hit Belize and the numbers increasing, we felt that it's important for us to first take on education because that was that is a priority i know that that has started and so far as you say knock on wood we've been going fairly safe now it's now to look at the borders as to how and when we can open it we still hope, hope to open it on the first of february but if we if there's enough um evidence and reasons as to why we should not open it, then, then we do so. I know that a lot of businesses have benefited greatly um, because the, the borders have been closed. But the reality is that we can't stay closed forever and we need to, to open um, the borders.